Amp Up Center launched at CES on January 7th and uh, really to a fantastic response to consumers because they're really looking forward to applications that were tailored to their netbook and to developers because they're looking forward to uh, reaching their target market and having a direct distribution channel which they never had before uh, on the netbook devices. So uh, that's what we rolled out at CES and so far it's going really well. So where did the inspiration come from? I mean, did you, did you guys just suddenly say, hmm, netbooks are kind of their own special machine, they need their own, you know, special ecosystem, or did, did it, like, where did, where did the idea come from? Well, um, so, of course, the App Store phenomenon is very obvious, right, and uh, the number of developers engaged who write apps for App Stores and the value propos there, proposition there is quite obvious. Mm -hmm. um, and we looked at this and said, well, what makes sense for our developers? How can we help our developers to reach netbook devices? or to reach our devices in general. And uh, Netbook popped up as the most obvious, mainly because there aren't applications there today really well suited for it. Uh, lots of devices out there, people using them for the basics of internet access and email, but not a lot of software tailored for them. So that's why it just uh, popped up, said, so, okay, why don't we start with Netflix and then see if we can expand to other devices in the future. So hopefully handsets come next, uh, consumer devices, in-car, in um, entertainment, set-top boxes, a whole host of opportunities arise from atom-centric uh, devices, and the netbook was just a great place to start. Hmm. So wh where do you see the app start moving forward with MIDs? Do you, do you see them moving onto that space as well? Um, the the app, app Up Center will actually be very uh, appropriate for any kind of handheld portable device, uh, basically any atom uh, based device because they'll look for applications that are tailored for that device. So mobile internet devices will be perfect as well. Um, a lot of the PC applications are not going to naturally work well in that form factor and need to be tailored for that. So an app up center that has applications specifically for a mid device uh, will really add value to the users for mids as well. Now what kind of roadmap are we looking at for app up? Um, what's the next projection for I guess, what's the next benchmark? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, our priority is getting uh, the Netbook App Up Center loaded with lots of good, uh, compelling applications. Uh, that'll take some time. Uh, we just launched two weeks ago. I think through most of this year, we focus on how do we get good Netbook applications out there. <clears throat> next is uh, smartphones. And as Adam wins more designs in the smartphone market, we'll have App Up Centers to support, support smartphones, too. Uh, following that, I think we're looking at things like in-car entertainment, um, set-top box uh, devices that are atom-based, and other consumer type of devices. When I look at what you're saying, I mean the the cloud um, is is very appealing uh, for these kinds of models, but you, we're not seeing um, much of that in today's ecosystem. Um, how do you see developers dealing with the either, either a the, the the fear of the consumer with uh, not knowing how secure the cloud is, or b the cloud not being that secure? <laughs> yeah, that is a concern, especially about consumers not knowing exactly where the application is coming from, um, how proven it is, what it's going to do on their device. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's some hesitancy there. One thing I think that will help on the App Up Center is one of the, the key value propositions is confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, confidence that the apps that are loaded in the store are uh, have been validated, they've been tested, they should run well on the device, and that uh, someone like Intel has gone through and checked this. Mm -hmm. um, unlike maybe pulling a, an application out of the cloud, just searching on the internet and finding one, uh, then loading on and not knowing if it's gone through that level of, uh, of testing and validation. So, that should bring a lot more sense of uh, security and confidence to the users. Okay.